Do you want uh, to practice some chords? Okay. Let's uh, let's do it. Uh, you know there there is uh, something called uh, open chord on the on the keyboard, and many people tend to confuse open chords with uh, inversions. They're not. Uh, I can understand why they they get confused. They get confused about that because of the uh, of the way the notes are laid out. But uh, inversions are inversions, and uh, open chords are open chords. Two different uh, things. If I want, uh, when you play open chord, you can you use both hands. You play part of the chord with your left left hand, and the other part with uh, with your right hand. If I want to play C major tried. C major triad, for example, I can play the C and the I can play the first and the fifth C and G with my left hand, and I can play uh, uh, the uh, E and well, let's say C major seventh. Then I can play the the E, which is the third, and the B, which is the seventh, with my right hand. And I will have C major seventh, okay. With my left hand, C C and G. With my with my right hand, E and B. This is open. This is an open chord. It's not an inversion of the C major triad. Okay, that's that's uh, that's basically the, the the difference between open chord and uh, an inversion. Now, if uh, I, I'm playing C and G with my left hand, and I'm playing E, which is the third, and uh, and I'm playing I'm playing B, which is the, which is the uh, B, the seventh note in the key of of uh, C major. If if I lower B one half step, I got B flat. That will give me a flat flat. Uh, wait, that will give me B flat flat seven. And if I play E my E flat, if I play E flat. That will give me. That will that will make the triad the C major triad triad minor. So I have B. I have E flat and B flat. And I have C and G with my left hand. Right there, I have C minor seventh. Okay. But I can make it even. I can double the B flat by playing B flat with my by by playing B flat with my left hand also. Okay. Open open chord. Okay. Open C minor seven. Playing with both both hands. Okay. Seven, only using four notes, just four notes. Okay, now 
if I lower the fifth, the fifth in my right hand, I'm going to have C minus seven flat five. Up, up. Yeah, that's it. Minus seven flat five because I lower the fifth of the C of the C C triad, so I got flat five now, which is G flat. So E flat, make it make uh, make it minor. G flat flat five, and I got flat seven, which with you know which is flat seven. Okay. If I, plan, if I want to play the root, which is C, I have a fuller, I have a fuller chord, but I've, I'm still playing with my left hand. I'm still playing C and B flat. But from here, I, from here, from here, from C minor seven flat five, which is also. Which, which is also called uh, C half diminished, I can double flat the flat seven to give me natural A, okay? And make it a diminished, make it C diminished seven. Okay, this time I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the flat seven that I was playing with my left hand I'm going to lower the half step also to so I can have a full C dominant seventh chord. Okay. That's a good way to practice your chord your chords on the keyboard. Now I would like to play uh, C suspended four what that means i need to play the fourth note in the key in the key of c major instead of the as my okay let me let me let me put let me let me put it this way i have it a, a e the c triad is is c c e g Okay, for me to play C suspended four, I need to play the fourth note in the key of C major, which is F, instead of the third. So, so this is my C suspended four right here. It's up. It's up to you. You can play. The, you can play the entire you can play the chord the chord with both both hands or you can just play you know you can I can I, I can just play okay C C G and with my right hand I play the I play uh, the F and G and E okay no not E we're not playing E because we play suspended for I can go ahead and play the F with my left hand also, make it a fuller, make it a fuller, full, make it sound fuller. Okay. All right. Let me play it. Uh, let me change voicings here. Let me go here. Well, let me make it C suspended, C dominant seven suspended four. Okay, then I need to play 
B flat to do that, okay? Yeah. Call it eleven or so. C. You can call it. Uh, I can call it C dominant seven, eleven. Okay. Okay. Or, or C dominant seven suspended four. Okay. And what if I? What if I want to play C? C minus seven suspended four. Okay, I need in this case I'm gonna need the uh, I'm gonna need E flat. Okay, so okay, there you go then. suspended four. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we can practice here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what about uh, minus six? Minus six. All right. Okay. Minus six. C, E flat, G, A. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play. Let's play just C major. C major six. Okay, that we get gonna be What about C major six nine? Just add just add D. B flat right here. Six nine. You're gonna be uh, C minus six nine. Uh, okay. C major seven. B dominant seven. B flat dominant seven. stuff like that you play you play uh, C C dominant seven and then you go down chromatically play B dominant seven and then you play B, you play B 
slap them in the server. Of course, if you, if, if you want to make those minor, you lower the third half step. B flat, B flat dominant dominant seven, you B flat dominant seven, you want to make it no not B flat, this is B, B, B dominant seven, and then you want B minor dominant seven, you just lower the third. You go from C dominant seven. You play C minor dominant seven. You lower the third. Give you E flat. And chromatically, you move to C. You move to B dominant seven. Lower the third, and you get B minor seven. Automatically, you move to B flat, dominant seven. You lower the third, you get B flat minus seven. Okay, so this is a good way to practice your good to practice chord. Okay, so all right. We will do we will do that kind of I will do that kind of practice practice sessions from time to time. Okay.